UCB is a global biopharmaceutical company focusing on delivering value to patients in the fields of neurology, immunology and bone. So the value for UCB, it's all about patient value. Our core capabilities are around developing drugs for patients in these fields. But what we're trying to achieve is to improve the outcomes of patients. So we're also looking into combinations of drugs with technologies, with better service, services that will lead to better outcomes of patients. So we're looking at it from a more holistic perspective in this field because we believe that drugs are only part of the answer, but through the integration we can achieve much better outcomes for patients, giving them a better experience and also providing them uh, provide access to as many patients as possible. I'm here today because I believe in the power of partnerships. Our core capabilities are around drug development and commercialization, but we see that in the space of digital health so much is happening. So, so many great other companies are working also in this field trying to improve the outcomes. So I'm seeking for partnerships in the field of neurology, especially epilepsy and Parkinson, to work together to transform the way care is provided and finally to improve the outcomes of patients living with these severe diseases. The main challenges that patients with epilepsy face are centered around the awareness of the disease, really understanding well what it's about, what it means to them, not only for them, but also for the family and the people surrounding patients with epilepsy. So it starts with really understanding what, it, what the disease really is and how they can manage their disease. Secondly, there are challenges around the diagnosis. So 20% of the patients are even being misdiagnosed or not even diagnosed at all. So finding ways to improve that would already have a substantial impact on how epilepsy care is being provided. Also in terms from uh, the drug treatment, we know that 30% of patients don't respond to drugs as well. So how can we improve that? How can we identify new pathways or how can we start combining different types of drugs with technologies to improve that 70% response rate, that would already be a lot. And last but not least, it's a chronic disease. So living with a disease for a long time, for the rest of your life, is very difficult to manage. So we are seeking solutions and patients are seeking solutions that keep them engaged in the management of their disease to see are we really striving for the best outcomes or not. PRISM stands for Patient Relevant Innovative Solutions Mission in Neurology. So what we are doing, our goal is to seek outside partnerships for companies that are working on technologies that we can converge with our medicines. So together we want to transform the way that epilepsy care is being provided or Parkinson care is being provided. So that's what we do as a mission. We look into innovation, we look into networking, we look into patient value and we look into collaboration. Absolutely, technology can play a role across the whole journey of a patient. It can start with providing much more education and insights around the disease so that patients and people understand much better what it is. Also for people and everybody in this world so that we know how to treat and how to help patients with epilepsy to remove the stigma. That would already be a huge advantage for the patients because it's one of the diseases with the highest stigmas possible in the world. Secondly, um, also around the diagnostics, at this moment there is no point of care diagnostic available. Patients need to go to hospital, they need to see an epileptologist. Only a few percent of patients really do get access to an appropriate uh, diagnosis. So that's where technology can have a huge impact if we can bring that to home. That will improve the situation a lot. Uh, also from a treatment perspective, finding out how can we identify much faster which is the right drug for the right patient will also lead to a much better control of the disease. And last but not least, all about the management of disease, finding tools that are engaging for people to track their symptoms, to track their progress, to see how well they're doing, can also inform the dialogue with the physician to improve care. So I think there's a lot to do in this space. We are looking for partners where we can really identify a win-win situation in the context of patient value. So our first goal in the way that we look into partners is do they have the potential to work with us and to improve the outcomes for epilepsy and Parkinson patients? If that is true, then we go much more into what types of technologies are there. Is it a diagnostic? Is it a maintenance tool? Is it a new digital therapeutic? Everything can be of value to patients, but we need to be sure that they have the right technology, the right purpose. And then, of course, it's also about how do we partner? So we also need to identify what type of partnerships we envision together with, with that company. So that's how we approach it.
What UCB can offer multiple things. We have established a solid foundation and a strong leadership in the field of neurology, especially in epilepsy. So we as a company, we can provide access to that whole scientific community, which we built over time, over the last 20 years. That is one. We also are very transparent and open in sharing our data and our knowledge and our expertise. We have a lot of knowledge in, in, uh, in house around uh, from can be neurologists, epileptologists, Parkinson specialists. So these people can also help in, 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 the, in the value proposition working with other companies. Uh, we also invest in companies. We also have a venture fund in the organization. And if we really detect transformative value in companies really early on, we might invest in those companies too. So you can see there's a whole latitude of, of solutions available on, on how we partner with companies. Exactly, so UCB, uh, we have over 7,500 employees in over 40 countries. Our main focus is in areas like US, Europe, China, Brazil. Um, these are the key markets for us where we can also, where we also have a, a commercial organization, so we can also offer access from that perspective. Seizure freedom stands for an aspiration that we have. So the whole problem with epilepsy is about the unpredictability of seizures. We know that 70% of the patients are really well controlled, so they don't suffer from seizures anymore, but still 30%, more than 20 million people worldwide are suffering from seizures, either from a daily or from a regular perspective. So what we aspire is to elevate that. We want to, we want to find ways that we can hopefully in the future ones cure the disease, but there's still a long way to go. But we believe that by converging technology and science together, that we can already start tackling that 30% and maybe reduce it to, to 15 or 10 over time. That would be a major, major transformation in the field of epilepsy. I think the long-term goal of our, of our team is to really eradicate the effects of epilepsy. So by setting up the right partnerships with the right companies, we can start tackling the big problems around this disease. So our goal is to really identify those, work closely together with them, help them to accelerate, help, help us also to get the right drugs to the right patients. At the end of the day, it all comes down to one thing, improving the outcomes of patients living with severe diseases. That's what we're trying to achieve, and that's also our long-term goal. The way that PRISM will create patient value actually comes down to how can we identify unique outcomes for patients creating best experiences for them for as many patients as possible. That's what we try to aim for as a company. The way that we contribute is by converging technology together with our science, we can accelerate that. We can identify ways to really generate these unique or, or to identify those unique outcomes. We can also help in giving patients uh, more, much more insights on their disease so that they can manage that much faster so that we can accelerate the time to control. That's how we can really contribute and make a difference to the life of patients uh, from our mission perspective.